What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode with episode 49. We're at Las Vegas. Second race, runner for Hendrick. Let's see what we can do here, boys and girls. I'm really, really stoked to say that it has been basically one full month I've posted an episode for our NASCAR Heat 5 career mood. It's, it's pretty crazy to think about, but every single day, I want to say it was since the 11th, which, yeah, I'd have to do that. But it's basically been a month, basically been a month that we have just pushed out NASCAR Heat 5 content. And uh, I'm gonna be throwing in little tidbits of different content here and there. Uh, kind of like with the whole Sportster vinyl wrap thing earlier in the week and just other stuff. We're just going to continue to just kind of, you know, throw stuff in as, as they fit until it gets warm. And then when it gets warm, like I said, we're going to be really diving back into doing our normal content. But I would like to still do this. I would like to do this, but also do my normal content, which is, which is going to be a lot of work. I won't lie to you guys. It'll be a lot of work. It'll be a lot to try to balance because, I mean, if you think about that, even if I post just like three or four normal videos, like hands-on videos a week, that's still 12 in a month plus daily NASCAR Heat 5 uploads. It's like 45 videos a month. That's a lot. That's a lot to edit. That's a lot to do. But it's something I, I'm, I'm considering doing. Definitely something I'm considering doing. The views on these videos don't get like crazy views at all. I just enjoy doing them, you know, honestly. And you know what? It's it's more content on the channel. It opens the door to more stuff. It gave me a reason to buy this steering wheel and just kind of mess around and have fun. So, you know, why not? Why not? I have this steering wheel now. Why not utilize it and make my money back practically of, of buying this wheel? That's the cool thing about YouTube is, you know, once you're monetized, you know, the more videos you have, and I'm not saying that qu or quantity is better than quality. I'm not saying that at all. My channel has over 500 uploads, so my normal revenue isn't coming off of these NASCAR videos. You know what I mean? So it's just the more videos I have up, though, the more exposure that I'm going to get. So, and those videos that have made me good money in the past, you know, they're they're still doing well. And that's that's part of the game of YouTube as you continue to grow, you post more, your videos don't just disappear. You know, YouTube has a way with their algorithm, but you know, that's completely beside the fact. But let's get back to racing. We are not doing too hot. We are currently sitting in P17. And I you know, honestly, I Las Vegas is pretty typical for us. Pretty typical for us to not be running up towards the front. Very, very typical, actually. But I do want you guys to continue to comment, you know, whether or not you guys want to see the Xfinity Series. I I think I'm going to throw it in every now and again, but other than that, I'm just going to, you know what I mean, race the races and do what I need to do and move on. Um, honestly, I might simulate a lot of them. I might simulate a lot of them, um, except for the ones that I know that I have a very good possibility of winning. Um, once you know, once we do that, once we get locked into the playoffs, I'm not that, I'm not necessarily worried about you know how many races we win this year. It's uh, getting into the playoffs and then being successful in the playoffs. That's one of the pros of basically this new playoff format is like you can you can literally one win one race and then you're you're like locked in so like you can you can be the worst driver in nascar history but as long as you win one race you're in the playoff it's uh it's quite quite incredible honestly quite incredible so lap eight we're falling back we're back at p18 right now we're going to continue to push forward here try to get under the 95 car we're not wanting to kind of like stick down on the bottom and we're not really getting too much speed to be brutally honest with you guys. So, as we approach three laps to go, I think all we are is a top 20 car today. Ex-teammate Denny Hamlin is leading this race right now. I 
Let's see, can we get up, up, no! Christopher Bell. We're gonna keep fighting with Christopher Bell until this race is over. I just, I sense it. I sense it, because we do not have the speed to necessarily just blow his doors off. So it's gonna be a constant pissing contest back and forth. And honestly, probably some beating and banging once we get to the start finish line with one to go. And uh, I don't, hey, listen, a position's a position. I don't mind beating and banging. But let's see. Do, 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 do. Boom. All right. There we go. Slid up in front of him. We're not going to reach Amarola. But we need to make sure the bell does not get underneath us. And then we need to hold him off for one more lap. That's all we got to do is just one lap. We'll shrug this, this race off. Like I said, P17 will probably still be in the top 10 in points. We'll just shrug it off and continue on to the next race. I will give you guys an Xfinity update as to where we're sitting in the point standings and, and different stuff like that there. I already know we're not doing well because I simulated uh, this race for the Xfinity series. I'm pretty positive we came in 29th, which is not good at all. Not good. So... We're coming down. We're not going to have to fight with Christopher Bell. We're going to come in P17 here today in our Mountain Dew number 94 Chevy Camaro. I'll see you guys in the next track. We're at Auto Club Speedway starting P24. Another track that I just don't do well at. At least we're getting them out of our system in the beginning of the season. Rather than later in the season. Come on, Jimmy, give me a push. I'm trying to kind of shove Newman out of the way here. It's not really working in our favor. See what I mean? We just don't have the freaking speed here. Literally ever. Look at Jimmy just hauling ass, taking names. Okay. Yep, Newman, that. Yep. Yeah. Do that shit again. Seven laps to go, and let me tell you, I do not feel good about this race. Do not feel good about this race, as we're just shoving Newman up into some more spots. We're slow. I mean, I, there's no other way to say that. Like, we're, we're just, we are absolutely slow. We have got to be the slowest Hendrick car here. Then again, Chase is right there in front of Jimmy. But Jimmy's got some, like, crazy speed in comparison to us. We're only up to P24. That's exactly where the hell we started. So, after two laps, we're literally only right where we started. Which is fantastic. That's just fucking great. That is just fantastic. Give me one second, guys. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. P23. Try to get up here to our teammates. Jimmy and Chase, yes, I know, technically I booted Jimmy out of Hendrick. Ryan's giving us one hell of a push right now. That's kind of what we need. This is going to be back-to-back -back races of just mediocre finishes, and it's, it's kind of upsetting. Damn, Chase, you're really trying to dive down on us pretty hard. Dude, Ryan is, I mean, he is definitely a faster car, but he is pushing us like no tomorrow. He's going to dive to the inside. We're going to kind of slide up, but we're going to get maybe a push from the 38. All right. 38 needs to keep pushing us so we can get up to Christopher Bell. We'll leave Newman out here by his lonesome, and the 38 leaves us. But Newman slides up, which is awesome. See if we get enough room here. There we go. Johnson's giving us a push. Oh, Jimmy! That could have been really bad. That could have been really friggin' bad. Oof. Come on, Chase, get up here. Come on, give us a push. 
Let's at least come to the top freaking 20 today. Holy hell. Let's see if we can take P20 and P19 here coming out of four. I'm on, Chase. Give me a push. Thank you. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Three laps to go. We need to get under Christopher Bell. Keep pushing, Chase. P19. Try to stay down here working with Chase to see if he can continue to push us up towards Newman and Johnson. Give us a nice little push off. This sucks because this is going to be two weeks in a row with the yeah, finishes. It's exactly what happened last season when we were racing for Joe Gibbs. Two laps to go. P19, just casually driving to Walmart here in our Mountain Dew Chevy. Ugh. Might make this a longer episode. Might run the next Xfinity race for you guys. Not entirely sure just yet. Not exactly sure what we want to do, but we're going to see what we can do. Depends on where we're running. I'm pretty sure we're at a short track. Might be Bristol. If it's Bristol, then we're definitely going to run both. But my son is pissed. He's out in the hallway. I'm telling you, every episode, these kids just want to get mad. And then my daughter, my daughter just <laughs> comes up and she's like, yeah, I'm going to open the door. You can go. You can go complain to dad. Ain't that right, bub? Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. I don't think we're going to catch Newman here, but we are going to come in P19 as long as we don't severely screw something up here. As we come across the front stretch, we're going to take home a P19. Not great at all. Let's head to the next track. This guy wants to race. I'll see you guys at the next one. We skipped over the Xfinity series. We're heading right to Cup. We're at Phoenix. This is going to be a telltale sign of how we're going to be come the end of the season. We're starting in P12. Let's see what we're capable of here today in a Hendrick car in comparison to a Joe Gibbs car. I know where we finished at the end of last year. I know how we did when there's three Joe Gibbs cars right in front of us. So we shall see how we finish here today at Phoenix. We're splitting the gap there. How do you like that? Splitting the gap. P11 after the first lap. Only picked up one spot. I would like to get in on the inside lane. Everything is just all clustered together. Dropping back, P12. Boyer's just like, he's just shoving his way, just kind of like we were doing there. Can't blame him. He's just trying to pick up some spots. We're in seventh in points currently, just so you guys know. Let's see if we can dive underneath Kyle. We're going to get right up on Clint. P9, looks like we got one Hendrick car up here. We're gonna make some moves. Slot up into P7. Dive down, jump all the way up to P5? Possibly, see if we can hold him off. Kenseth is probably gonna get a run here. We cut him off. Newman's going to come down. P5. All right. Definitely not a contender for the, the win here, but it's better than the last two races that we've done in this episode. So, and it's looking kind of promising so far for the playoff hunt. At least for the finale. If we were to make the final four, things are looking okay. 
Not not the greatest, but they're looking okay. Seven laps to go. P5. Don't know if we'll catch Keselowski. We're slowly chipping away at Keselowski, but we got Boyer coming up like a freight train behind us. Be nice to come in the top five here today. It really would. It'd be nice to have at least one top five finish in this episode, but top 10 works too. Boyer, he's just a lot faster car than we are. I mean, that's just the cold hard truth. He is faster than what we are. A lot faster. And I don't think I'm going to be able, be able to hold him off for six laps, especially with his speed, because it's going to take me making one tiny error for him to capitalize and pass us. He's, try, he's trying everything he humanly can to get around us. And there we go. There's that mistake that I was talking about. We slid up the track a little bit. Clint Boyer is going to take over P5. We're going to try to take it back here. Maybe beat and bang just a little bit. Get right up on him. I think he's going to run away with that P5 now. Unless I dive it down in just a little bit too hard. Maybe give him a little bump. There we go. Now it becomes a drag race. He's going to win this drag race, but it at least kept us close to where now maybe we could slide underneath him. Try to make that pass. Nope, not going to happen. I'm going to dive down on the track here. Three to go. Trying not to lift as much as possible. Because I... I Hey, if, it, if it's literally a, a race for us for P5 for the next three laps, then hell, I'm. Well, it gives me some type of excitement. <laughs> As of right now, if that was the last lap, we would have beat him to the line. Two laps to go. It's going to be neck and neck for P5 here. We keep kind of shoving him up the track. I'm sure he'll be pissed after the race. That's fine. He's not able to fully clear us, and we're not able to fully... Ah, maybe. We're not able to fully clear him either. Ooh, that would have been close, I think, if that was the last lap, we would have came in P6. So, we're going to try to beat and bang on Boyer here. Shove him up the track just a little bit. Slow him down. Now we're kind of in a spot that... Eh, He's going to try to make a move on the outside. But I think we are, in fact, going to take home the P5 here today at Phoenix. I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that little notification bell and join us on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.